I have always been a sucker for fruit juice. My girls now drink juicy juice with flavors like apple, orange tangerine, and kiwi strawberry. The ad campaign says that juicy juice is 100% real juice for 100% real kids. Back in the day, I drank Hawaiian Punch. Hawaiian Punch had 10% fruit juice and 90% who knows what. We can tell that Hawaiian Punch was limited in the amount of juice it was because its flavor was red. But let's talk about what these percentages mean. These percentages are a way of measuring concentration. How much of a solute is present in a total amount of solution? So using percentages is a really easy way to measure concentration. Those juices will do a percentage by volume. So Hawaiian Punch is 10% volume fruit juice and 90% other stuff. We can do percentages by mass as well. So measuring concentration by percentage is the same thing you've done in math. So let's take a look. Let's say I put 15 grams of sodium chloride and I dissolve it in 100 grams of water. What is the percent by mass of sodium chloride in this solution? Now at first glance you might be tempted to just say that there is 15% sodium chloride. Because if you have 15 grams and 100 grams of water, 15 over 100 is 15%. However, to find a percentage you have to take what you're looking for over the total. To find this percentage I'm going to do 15 grams of NaCl. And I'm going to divide that by 100 grams of water plus the 15 grams of NaCl. Then I turn it into percentage. I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 100%, and I end up getting 13%. Percent by mass is one way to measure concentration. In this class, we generally measure concentration using a system called molarity. Now, spoiler, molarity has moles in it, so we're going to have to do some conversions for moles in order to use this. The symbol used for molarity is a capital M. And we've actually seen this symbol in labs before. When we've been mixing solutions together, you've seen something like 1.0 capital M or 0.1 capital M. And that's referring to the molarity of a solution, its concentration. Molarity is defined as the moles of solute divided by the liters of total solution created. So let's put this into context by doing a problem. Let's say I take 13.8 grams of potassium hydroxide and I add it to water. I find the total volume of the whole solution, the water and the potassium hydroxide together, to be 688 milliliters. I want to know the molarity of this solution. To find molarity, we have to do moles of solute over liters of solution. Potassium hydroxide is my solute, so let's start there. I have 13.8 grams of potassium hydroxide, which is KOH. And if I want to do moles of solute, I need to convert that into moles. Well, one mole of potassium hydroxide has a mass of 40.11 grams. If I cancel out my grams, and I'm left with moles, I get 0 0.344 moles of KOH. Now I have to divide that by liters of solution. So I'm given 688 milliliters of solution. I'm going to want to convert that to liters. So that's 0.688 liters of solution. Remember, a thousand milliliters in a liter. So now I can find my molarity by saying my moles of solute, 0 0.344 moles of KOH all over 0 0.688 liters of solution, and that gives me 0.5 as an answer. Now 0.5 only has one sig fig, and if I look at my data, they're three sig figs, so I'm going to write 0 0.500 to give it three sig figs. And the units we use for molarity are a capital M.